Okay, here we have this list separated by comma delimiters. That's the word in Excel that is used to describe what's the, used to separate things. So the delimiter is a comma. And we're going to take this list and uh, split it out. So right now I'm just going to go uh, select it. Uh, so I just went into the column. And then I'm going to go over to data. I'm going to pick text to columns because there's no text to rows feature. We probably want it into rows. So we'll deal with that in a moment. Text to columns. Uh, it is uh, delimited, not fixed. It's a delimited uh, set of data. And it's delimited by a, a comma. So if you select comma, if it's not selected, you'll see it splits it out here, giving you a preview. You hit next. You can pick what kind of data it is. It's text, but you can say general's fine. Either one will work uh, for you here. And I'll just go ahead and finish. And now if I select and expand those, you'll see they're in, uh, into columns now. I'm gonna go ahead and shrink these down. I'll double click, or I'll select this cell, the first number one. Double click right here and it'll shrink it down. I'm going to, uh, I want to select the entire row now. So I just click on the one, select the row, control C to copy. I'm going to come down to a new area, like right here is fine, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to come to the home tab and go to the paste function. At the very bottom is paste special. And all I'm going to do is select transpose and that puts it into my rows. I can actually get rid of all this stuff now if I want. Uh, delete. Or you can leave a, uh, a row up there for a header or title if you want. But anyway, uh, you get the idea. What you'll see this did is it made it into a row, but now there's trailing spaces. Uh, I'm sorry, not there's leading spaces on everything except for the first name. Uh, so to deal with that, we got to use the trim function. So I'm going to say uh, it's under formula, text, trim, and then I just select the first one. I'll just click on it. Even though this dialog box is up, you can just click on it to select it. And it's going to show you. It's going to take space Charlene Jackson and just turn it into Charlene Jackson. I'll hit OK. And it did it right where the trim function is. And all I do is drag this lower thing through your whole list if you got a big list but and see it fixed all of them but they're not truly fixed yet so right now if I click here you'll see this is data but this is a function this is a function 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 these are functions but I want this data because this is all my cleaned up data so I'm going to hit control C after I select that entire column of data I'll come over somewhere else just so I can paste it uh, I'm going to pay special And actually, I just want to take the, it's called, if I can find it here, paste values. All I want to do is paste the values. And now I have the values of this trim function that occurred on this column. So this column adjusted this column. And here are the data only results over here. 